Numerical methods for engineers, problem 6.2. Determine the highest real root of f of x equals 2x cubed minus 11.7x squared plus 17.7x minus 5. Part 1. Solve it graphically. So, here are a range of values of x from 0.5 to 5. Here's our equation. And here's our graph of the equation with respect to x. As you can see, the graph shows that the function crosses 0 about at 3.5. Now let's find our highest real root using fixed point notation in part b. So here are three iterations separately, and here are three iterate. We can do three iterations in a loop also. And here is the derivative of our equation, so we can compute the fixed point iteration method. So let's show a plot for three iterations. Here's the plot for three iterations, and the fixed point method believes that the root is about at 3.1, which is close but not exact. So, let's up the amount of iterations that we go through the loop to, say, 23. Now we're a lot closer to our actual zero. We're here at about 3.6. Let's see the exact point we're at. We're about at 3.5632 for fixed point iteration method. And so let's move on to our next method. In part C, we're going to approximate the root with Newton's Rapson method for three iterations. So let's do that for three iterations. Here's our equation approximated for three iterations up here, starting at x of 0 equals 3, and down here is our loop to do three or more iterations. So, let's plot this up. After three iterations, the newton raphson method believes we're about at 3.8 for our root. So, let's add some more iterations. And now we're exactly where we want to be at our actual root, which matches our original, our first equation, because it's covering the line of the graph. So the newton raphson method is now matching the fixed point iteration method. So let's just type in c of x of n. And the newton raphson method also gives 3.5632. Now let's move on to part d find the secant method with three iterations with x negative equal to 3 and x sub 0 equal to 4. So here's our equation for the secant method gone out to three iterations. So down here, here's our loop to do three or more iterations. So let's 
plot it up for three durations and see what we get. And after three iterations, we are fairly close to where we want to be. It's at three point, looks about right. So let's see what we got. N x of two for the secant method. And we're pretty close, but not exactly where we want to be. So let's just add, say, three more iterations to the loop. And we're exactly where we want to be for the secant method. And finally, we have the modified secant method, which we will do for three iterations with x of 0 equal to 3 and our delta equal to 0.01. So, here's our equation for the modified secant method. Here is our loop. Let's put it at three iterations. Let's plot it up. So here's our modified secant method in red. And here are the rest of our approximations under the green line over here. So after three iterations, the modified secant method is about at 3.8. So let's add, uh, let's do a couple more iterations. Let's do six iterations, see how close we get. And after six iterations, we, it looks like we're right where we want to be. At 3.5632. So we're exactly where we want to be for all our approximations. They're all at the same point, 3.5632 for our equation f of x equals 2x cubed minus 11.7x squared plus 17.7x minus 5. And that's it for problem 6.2 in numerical methods for engineers.